Justin Dane here with the Texas Tribune, and I'm in West Des Moines, Iowa at a Perry watch party. This afternoon, Governor Perry was very busy between media interviews, speaking engagements. Time to stop by a few caucus locations to talk with some of his supporters and hopefully to persuade some undecided voters to give him a second look. Uh, I was kind of on the fence. Um, I didn't really get a chance to really talk to him about, you know, what he believes in, but I was, he, he pretty much had my vote uh, from when I walked in. I was just wanting to ask some questions with other parties, so. He just told me that uh, he'd, he'd appreciate um, my support, and if uh, there's anything that I had questions on, that because I told him I was undecided, and he said that he, had, he was hoping that he was in my finalist list, and I said, you are? And he said, what are you looking for? And I said, I'm kind of looking for that. I'm, I don't know what I'm looking for, to be honest with you. Looking for something to just tug me a little bit, something to put me over the edge. And I think a lot of people are in my shoes. Uh, I think there's a lot of information out there, and it's hard to tar hard to digest all of it. Is talking to him does that help you? Absolutely. Yeah, because I looked him right in the eye, and he seemed like a guy I could sit down uh, sit down on a stool and just uh, BS with. To be honest with you, were you for, uh, for him from the beginning? No, or? I am not. Today is the day I decided. Huh. You were undecided so, before that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And who had, who had you been kind of? Bachman, Santarum, and him. And some folks had already made up their minds. He doesn't seem the brightest candidate, just to be honest with you. I like a guy that can speak his mind and not have to regurgitate talking points. And did you ever consider Perry? No. Check in with TexasTribune.org for updates throughout the night. And be sure to check with us tomorrow for a post-game wrap-up.